Dragon is a small 11-mile section of Interstate 129 in Tennessee, an auxiliary route that spans more than four states. So it's that time again. October, we will be at Classic Hondas on the Dragon. This is one of the best Honda show slash meet you'll ever experience. When I say a meet, it's a group of guys that are driving Classic Hondas to hang out and be together. And then, of course, drive some of the iconic roads surrounding Tail of the Dragon, Tennessee, North Carolina. Beautiful scenery. Some of the best guys you're going to hang out with. This is your chance to get your car get out there and enjoy it and hang out with people. These are enthusiasts that love the classic Honda. You're gonna see everything from first gen CRXs all the way to the very latest brand new Civic Type Rs, there's NSXs, there's Odysseys, the GDM cars, everything in between. Some of the best cars you'll ever see. And of course, while you're up there, make it a vacation. Group together, get some of your friends out there, get your wife, get your girlfriend, get your neighbor, these are guys that are driving classic Hondas. They're driving hundreds of miles. Give you an idea, last year, my trip was 13 hours from the shop to the cabin. I drove a 34-year-old CRX. And then once you're there, you get to drive with everybody else. They do group runs. They do the Tail of the Dragon. Of course, that's the iconic road. 318 turns over 11 miles. To me, it's kind of like a tourist attraction. You're up there. You've got to do it. You've got to see the road. You've got to drive it. You've got to hang out and hear the stories. And then so many other roads you're going to enjoy. Scenic, picturesque, waterfalls, scenery, beautiful roads. For us, it's going to be a welcome change. It's been a hot summer. We're looking forward to some cooler, nice fall air. We will be bringing shirts. We'll have a dedicated shirt just for the show. It's only going to be available at the show. We're not going to sell it online. It's going to be at the show only. I want to keep it inexpensive. The show is Saturday and Sunday. That is October 12th and 13th. We typically go a day or so before this year. We're going two days before, so it gives us a chance. Last year, I was 13 and a half hours in a CRX. The last leg was a rainstorm, and then we were greeted at the cabin with a hill like this. And then just as you thought it was over, it made a 90 degree turn and then went up some more. Fantastic. If you watched that last video, I should have brought my truck. Because the Airbnb, the pictures show you all the good bits. Nobody showed you the hike to get up there. This year, better. SB Jeff chose the cabin. You've seen Jeff on the channel. He chose the cabin. So if it sucks, it's Jeff's fault. Or Del Sol Christian. Those guys are coming with us. They're staying with me. George might be there. I don't know. Go ahead and put in the comments, George, we want to see you there because he's kind of on the fence about going. So go ahead and, and push him a little bit and try and get him there. I want him to be there. He's built Uncle Ray. I haven't even posted that video. I've got some more editing to do. Uncle Ray's fantastic. I want Uncle Ray to be at the Dragon with George in it. A few of the people will be there. There's some faces that you've probably seen on the channel. You've got to be there. The only person that's going to be missing is you if you don't go. Fantastic meet. This is an enthusiast meet, like I said, and I keep drumming into you guys. I've been doing these shows since the 90s. I've been doing this longer than most of my customers. And I know what I like. I don't like the car that is not a real car. I call them statues. Like you see so many cars at SEMA. Uh, yeah, there's some great cars, but let's go for a drive. That's to me, is a real car. My point being, it has to be a real car. The cars that are going to be there a real car. Some of these guys are coming hundreds of miles. We're coming 700 miles. There's some guys last year came from California. That's 2,500 miles. Imagine 2,500 miles in an S2000. I can imagine it. It's not that much fun. Once you get there, fantastic. 13 hours of sitting like this, not so much fun. But you know what? It's the price of admission, which by the way, is free. No cost to get in. It's not a show. It's a meet. So Saturday, you're going to get there. I think the show starts at 9 o'clock. You're going to hang out. You're going to park. You can park with your group. You can park with the cars that are the same as you. You can whatever. It's very chill, very cool. You've just got to get in. Don't sit on the road and talk to the guy on the side of the road and block traffic. They want to get you in and get you set up. We're going to have a little vendor area. I'll be with some of those guys. Uh, the guys from GDI will be there. The guys from Resto Mod, the guys from Classic Honda, Acura guys, 
all good guys. All the guys that I like to hang out with, you're going to like to hang out with too. Make the drive, make the plan, get there. Even if you have to take a couple of days off work, I'm taking days off work. I don't get paid when I'm off. Actually, we do. We're salary. Just kidding. Sunday, similar meet. A lot of guys take off and meet up for lunch. Other guys take off and go do group drives. On the Saturday, uh, last couple of years, I took off and hung out with the, the JDI guys. You're going to meet some of the people that you see online. Talking about JDI, I owe you guys lunch. You keep picking up the check and making some kind of story of I paid already and you owe me and no, I'm going to buy your lunch this time. I'm also going to show you about taping up the front of your car. This is kind of like a poor, a poor man's uh, paint protection film. Uh, I use blue painters tape and I'm going to show you how I do it. Very, very easy question is what car do I take? Do I take the Type R? Do I take the CRX? Do I take the S2000? Do I take the GSR? Do I take the Colorado? Hopefully this year the roads will be more paved where I drive so I won't need the Colorado. Check it out. Classic Honda's on the drag and I'll put the four videos of the past four years of our trips at the end. If you want to watch a long video, I what my wife went out. I watched those videos back to back the other night. I think they're like 45 minutes long. And it was just good for me to see past videos and see all of our hangout friends. That's what it's about. It's hanging out with your friends. It's hanging out with like-minded people. Classic Honda's on the drag on October 12th and 13th. Make sure you make plans to be there. It's a free event. Best show you will go to, hands down. I guarantee it. If you're intimidated by all the crowds, you come in there. If you see me, I will introduce you to somebody that is going to think like you. You tell me you come up and go, hey, I have a, a Del Sol. That is the car this year. That is a featured car. You come with an EG. Guess what? There's 40 EG guys right there. They're all going to be happy to talk to you about your car and their car. That's what we do. It's not an intimidating show. It's not about how much money you've got under the hood. It's not about Hector buying three spoon engines. It's none of that. It's real cars, real enthusiasts enjoying their car. That's what it's about. Enjoy your cars and drive your cars. We'll see you on the next video.